Good evening once again. It is no secret that cities nationwide are now facing serious money problems due to the pandemic. And a new report now shows that Buffalo could be one of the hardest hit cities in the entire country. The New York Times published this study today showing Buffalo and its two upstate sister cities, Rochester and Syracuse. And they could be dealing with a serious revenue crisis. That's because these are cities that rely more heavily than other cities on state aid. Buffalo could be looking at a 20% budget shortfall. Diving deeper, it looks like the economic pain is really being felt the most now by black workers here in Buffalo. The Wall Street Journal says that this pandemic could have a devastating impact because of the historic unemployment numbers. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley goes in-depth with a look at the COVID-19 recession and its direct impact here in Western New York. We've experienced a significant drop off in what would normally be our busiest time of year. Stanton Hudson has been associated with the Theodore Roosevelt inaugural site in Buffalo for 26 years, and he has never seen a year like this one. Never whatsoever. The National Historic Site just reopened on July 22nd after four months of being closed. It is a good example of how the coronavirus is killing local tourism revenue. Last year, visitors spent $60,000 on admission. This year, that amount is just barely over 23,000. Restaurants, hotels, uh, attractions, they're the ones that are really, really suffering. With the Canadian border still closed to non-essential traffic, the loss of tourism dollars is being felt all across the Buffalo Niagara region. We know it's in the millions. But tourism is not the only source of revenue in trouble. As much as 25 to 30 percent of restaurants and bars, even after the reopening, have stayed closed. Dottie Gallagher is president and CEO of the Buffalo Niagara partnership. She said small businesses are struggling badly. The Expo Market in downtown Buffalo is proof. It opened with much fanfare in 2016, but was forced to close just days ago because the pandemic dried up business. And small businesses that do open are finding things are much more expensive as they have to buy personal protective equipment like gloves. A physical therapy office, that cost $1,500 a month. It is no secret that governments are in trouble, putting municipal assistance in question. But Gallagher said unemployment is still a huge problem, especially in poor neighborhoods. Loss of jobs here have disproportionately impacted low wage earners. While the outlook is grim, Gallagher said there are some bright spots. First, sales tax revenue was not as bad as expected, thanks to a surge in sales of high priced items like homes and cars. And second, developers are not yet slowing down their plans for Buffalo. But now the key is to get people to increase their local spending. Get rid of your primnesia, you know, which is ordering so much stuff from Amazon that you don't remember what you ordered, uh, and go spend some money in some local businesses because it really is going to make a difference if we do. But Dottie Gallagher also said a lot of people are now watching to see what happens when schools reopen because if there is a surge in COVID cases, that could also have a negative impact on Buffalo's economics. In downtown Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.